Ty, have you spoken to Bruce, uh, Bryce in a couple of days, see how he's going? Yeah, for sure. I had a couple of words with Bryce uh, yesterday just to check on him, make sure his you know, spirits are well and stuff like that, and you know, just let him know that we're ready for him to be back when he's ready. Have you ever had a, a rib injury like that? You know what it's like? No, I don't know what it's like, actually, luckily enough. Um, obviously, his absence is going to be a bit uh, of a, a blow this Friday, but you guys are looking to step up a bit. Everyone's uh, increased their role? Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, no secret. Um, it's going to be a big absence with Bryce not on the team, but I mean, obviously, huge opportunity for the young guys to you know contribute more and you know they've been working and getting better every day so i'm excited to see what what they bring to the team and for someone like uh, troy withers to, to come in again he's done some injury replacement work already this season quite well he can come in and sort of help fill that void is also yeah for sure todd's been great for us um you know comes in practices as part of, uh, every day you know great attitude great team guy and you know every opportunity he's kind of had to be out there you know he's, he's shown promise for sure um, so, t talk us through how you had to make changes mid-game when Bryce got hurt the other day, and you got yourselves back into the contest in the second half. Like, what do you do? Have to do to start the game differently, knowing you don't have Bryce on on the court this week? Um, I think you know, for the coaches, for sure, that's something that they're going to have to think about. But I mean, obviously, just guys are going to just have to be aggressive from the jump. You know, obviously, Bryce brings a lot of scoring to the team, so. Guys are going to have to, you know, score and be aggressive, and you know, look look to create uh, offense for us. So you were really aggressive throughout, throughout that game. Is that something that you can push as an example for others to, to you know, push the pace and get as many shots up as they can? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, John asked me to be, you know, as aggressive and pick up the pace of the game. Obviously, we were trailing for a long time in that game, so just John wanted to, uh, you know, really push the pace of the game and, you know, just kind of put it on me to, to do that, and I just, you know, did that to the best of my ability. We've seen different guys come in and take different roles throughout the season. Who do you think is the most likely to come into that five now to, to replace Bryce if you were picking someone based on what you've seen on form? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, it's, it's tough to say. You know, Henschel's, you know, done the same thing, stepped up at times, and he's put Pepper in there. Pepper showed some really good... Pepper's had some, obviously, some great games and stuff like that. And even Harris has been in the, in the mix. So, I mean, it's, you know, John's got, you know, options, you know, and I'm not sure what he's thinking, but, you know... It's, it's definitely not, not bad options to have. It is an opportunity for whoever gets the chance to really make a name for themselves if they go well. Also, you've been a young bloke hoping to, to get your number called and then you come in and yeah. win a championship and, and get things on the way. Like, How big an opportunity is it for those guys to start and have a genuine role? Yeah, huge. You know, I mean, you know, if they can come out and play well and you know, earn John's trust and stuff like that, it's only going to be positive for them. The Kings specifically, how do you, yeah, it was a close game last time against them, what, what do you see as being the key to, to, uh, to the one point difference, what, yeah. what do you see the key changing that? Um, just, you know, matching, obviously a physical team, you know, just, just matching that and controlling the pace of the game, you know, make them play our game and, you know, hopefully we can get some contributors from, you know, places that we perhaps haven't had um, throughout the season. How's your body? Good, yeah, it's right. not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> I mean, frustrating start? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Uh, obviously frustrating to get an early on injury and stuff like that, but, you know, it's part of the game, I guess. And how's the team feeling? Really, like, there's been a couple of close games, haven't gone your way, and suddenly you're, you're, yeah, yeah. you're, you're same sort of start as what you had last year. How do you get yourselves out of, out yeah. of the Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, this week got a, got a bit of a kick up the ass from John, you know, in film and stuff like that, but I think guys are motivated, you know. It's kind of lit a fire under us, you know, to see you know, that we're not playing to the full potential, you know, we haven't put a full 40 minutes together yet and, you know, it's, you just got to be excited about that, you know, like we still haven't reached uh, the, the point that we want to be at and, you know, we've got a lot of work but it's exciting to, you know, to be able to do that work. So there's two ways the coach can go, you can say, oh, we're, we're close and you've, you were without Bryce, so it's a pretty mm. good effort or you can put a fire up you and, and kick exactly. in the ass, as you say. So what was that meeting like? Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was just, you know, just a... Uh, normal film session where they just kind of showed us some mistakes and just, you know, kind of went through, called a couple of guys out and demanded more from them. Do you like it when a coach takes that approach every yeah, now and then? absolutely. You need that, you know. You guys can't just fly under the radar, think your mistakes aren't going unnoticed. You, for sure, you need to take accountability if you want to be a championship team.